Okay, well, let's start by saying that it's been a heck of a week. It's, mm-hmm. You know what? It's been a wild couple of weeks. They just don't know about it. What? Right. Friday is when it dropped, Jeff. I know. But that was last week. I, last week? When one we week ago. Next week? Yeah, one week ago, we were standing here. Yes. Sasha and I, because Jeff was tardy. I, I I had a very personally very bad week last no, week. So you've had a hard it's just it's when it rains it pours, right? It's like it's been tsunami. It's been an unbelievable time. Yes. Let's be very careful not to look at the white camera. We we've got cameras all around us. Yep. So right now we're over there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and, and the community feels us. So there is no real show this week. We are live. We're here. We're at the studio because we promised you that we always would be. Yep. Mm-hmm. Week after week. But there's no show. That is correct. There is no show. So here, here's, here's why there's no show. Because we need to have a family chat. That's really what it comes down to. This is family night. This is about you, the viewers, who tune in every week to give us your hour and a half of your life. To say we're going to hang out with you guys from all over the globe, and uh, tonight is family night. Mm-hmm. It's not about I'll take teaching. That. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, it's family. I appreciate that. This is a family discussion. It's been a really, really hard week for me. Yeah, uh, the weekend into now. Yes. Mm-hmm. I have. I've never cried so hard in Studio D. <laughs> That's why the floors are slippery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Let's just say that. I've invested in a new audio rig. I've invested in a new sound a sound rack. So our server rack is is in that. Yep. All these things because we're in this space. We love this space. We've built it into our space. You'll notice that the signage is down this week. Yep. Because mm-hmm. it's already packed. Yep. Well, it's on the desk. But you know what I mean, Jeff? You, you talk. Yeah. So... <laughs> Here's the nuts and bolts of what's going on. Uh, we have been in Studio D now for five and a half years broadcasting. We've been here six years because we were doing some renovations. Yeah. Uh, and the landlord has decided that he needs a space. And unfortunately, but, gave, us, gave us months and months of notice, right, Jeff? He needs More, the space. If by, if by months and months you that. mean we have less than a month, mm. then yeah. We got months and months notice. So you mean we've invested in all of this, like uh, invested in building up this studio space? Yes. Putting in storage racks, which I'm seeing here, and and putting in yep. new new rigs over here. So uh, you you can't really see it. I'm I'm gonna try to switch it. But you see a pole here. What you see here used to have a week ago, a nice backdrop. Break, right. Nice backdrop for our unboxing studio. Yeah, because yep. that's that that is. Where we were headed was like, let's make this place as great as possible. Exactly. Right? This is all wallpaper, which yep. I put up. Yeah. And I'm pretty proud of that. I, I mean, I did it with volunteers' help. Right. But for still. sure. But because I could never have done that. I could never have lined that up without Jean and Vicky. Yeah. So, there's no really, way. Though, then, like, the nuts and bolts of it all is that we have to be out before That's the it. end of the month. Uh, yeah. But. Yeah. So imagine after six years, and and truly six years. So six years ago, we got this space. It took us almost six months to prepare it. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. We had to remediate mold. We had to re drywall. We had to paint the entire place, put up wallpaper, everything else. And after six years, we're given one month's notice. Mm-hmm. Eviction, basically, but not for any fault of ours. No. no. The, the landlord says he, well, his his words, not, not verbatim, but um, his words are that um, he has no problem with us. He has no right. problem with me because he's only ever dealt with me. Mm-hmm. There's no problem with me. He's, in fact, willing to write a reference letter for us to help us to be able to get a new space. But mm-hmm. he needs to repurpose this space. And I can understand that. It's his place. Yep. Yeah. Um, And so I have the utmost respect for that decision. I just wish that we had more time because it's really, really tough. So, yeah, we'll be frantically packing and moving. Yeah, we already are. I mean, look around. I mean, it's a mess right now. Since Friday. I mean, here we are. It's Wednesday. Yeah. So the reality is we 
Robbie regularly plans for the show, like setting up whatever the topic is, all the show notes, mm-hmm. like getting it all ready. Do you want to know how that really goes down? Sure. Sasha, when do I usually, other than the past couple of weeks has been tough, mm-hmm. when do I usually have the news stories written for you? A couple days in advance? The day before. Um, the, you think the day, the day before? Yeah, well, definitely. Definitely the day before. Definitely the day before. Usually like, the Monday. Yes. Yep. Well, the Monday in the afternoon, the stories are usually up. Yes. So, so I start writing the news. Because I read them in the morning the you day before. Proof them. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's the ideal scenario. So, so I personally am working on the newsroom stories on Monday. So my Monday lunch hour at work is spent doing that. So that's, mm-hmm. that's what I do. So that you have them, so that Sasha has them in time so that she can proofread them, let me know if there's any errors or anything that needs to be corrected. Right. And then we import it to the teleprompter and it's ready to go for Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And you've already read it a couple times by then. Which I start time shows. <laughs> yeah, I start preparing. So the Wednesday show, I start preparing on Sunday. Sunday, Monday... Monday is Newsday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, I arrive at the studio at 4 Mm p.m., and I set up all the shots, so that means setting up the cameras, Mm -hmm. setting up the audio, making sure everything's working, and ensure that there are notes, so I, we don't have any printed notes in front of us because we've already recycled them all. Yep. Um, I print out notes for all of the staff so that you have what? Just a bullet list of what yeah, we're covering. Yeah, so we know what's exactly. going on. It's our script, essentially. Yeah. I mean, we're not a scripted show, but we need to know what we're going to be talking about in the course of the hour, hour and a half. So yep. mm-hmm. that's important. So I actually write that out. And those are all, everything's done usually before you get here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's what I do. Then we do the show. And I work until 10, 11 p.m. Yeah. Doing the post-production, setting up the shots, so taking all the camera feeds, taking all the audio, putting it all together into DaVinci Resolve. Mm-hmm. And then Thursday morning, I work from 5, 5.30 a.m. until 8 o'clock a.m. on Category 5 doing the editing. Mm-hmm. Right. Then the, that evening, because I work full-time during the day, so I, then I go do my day job. Mm-hmm. 10 hours sitting at a computer doing programming. Then uh, that evening, I take my daughter out because Thursdays are daddy-daughter day. Love it. And uh, so I take her out for a daddy date. And uh, when I get back from that, we, I sit back down and I'm producing video from Wednesday's show. So the previous night's show mm-hmm. until about 9, 930. Then I watch a show with my wife and we have some time together. And then Friday morning, I start at 5, and I have to have the show ready for KVVB, our cable TV channel in California. Um, It has to be to them before 11 a.m. So I have to start, so I have to have rendered, edited, rendered, and completely finished the show before um, 8 o'clock a.m. my time so that I can start uploading it because it takes a couple hours to upload. Mm -hmm. Luckily for me, California time is a couple hours behind us. So, (laughs) so I have a little bit of grace time. Yes. So then on my lunch break, when does Robbie rest? This is, this is, we're now Friday at lunch, Friday at lunch for that one show that I started on Sunday. So then I'm Placing the show on the spreadsheet for our cable TV network in California. Yep. That has to be done by lunch. Sounds like that's a lot of work, right? It is a lot of work. Okay. So then I take that show Mm -hmm. Friday night and I cut it up into bitty pieces. Mm -hmm. I cut it up into three pieces. Three. Section A. Yep. which is our first segment of the show. Yep. Section B, which is our second segment of the show. So usually we do, we'll do an unboxing and an unveil of a product. Then we'll do a Linux tutorial or something, something like, like that. that. Yep. So those are the two first features. Then we have what? The newsroom. The newsroom. Yay. And that's its own clip. But that's about 26 minutes. Mm-hmm. Ish. <laughs> then I take that 26-ish Oh. Clip, clip of the newsroom. 
And I make sure that it's ready for KVBB, yes. yep, our cable channel in California. Hopefully we're going to expand that. We're going to have more cable channels broadcasting our stuff. But now, so understand, they've got Category 5 Technology TV Friday morning. Yeah. Then by, at the very latest Saturday, they have Category 5.TV Newsroom, which is a 30-minute show. And so they air Category 5 Technology TV. Mm-hmm. And Category 5.TV Newsroom. Which so is crazy. I have, like, my own show. It's two different shows when it's all said and done. TV star. Oh, Superstar. Yeah. Superstar. And I say KVVB. Um, of course, this content is available everywhere as well. But right. they're, they're the one cable channel that's currently carrying us. Um, so then you think that's that. Okay, you're done. That leaves you Saturday night. Is that it? Of no, course not. No, I still have Saturday morning, Jeff. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget Saturday morning. I really need that because now I take that newsroom segment that is 30 minutes long, 26 minutes long. Mm -hmm. How many newsroom stories do we do? Five. You do four. Four. And I do do the honorable mentions. And I do honorable mentions. Yeah. So this video now gets cut up into six videos. Yes. Placed on linuxtechshow.com. And now those six videos are the first videos from Wednesday's show that the public gets to see. Right. You start to see now Saturday Mm -hmm. videos being posted to our Twitter, to our Facebook, to our Discord, to linuxtechshow.com. It starts with the honorable mentions, the newsroom story that I talk about at the beginning. Then it goes into the news stories that Sasha does. Mm Mm-hmm. And by probably Sunday afternoon, because we day part it, we don't allow the videos to all be sent up at once. Um, We we day part it, so that means that there is a six-hour gap between each video. Um, So six videos. Mm -hmm. Sunday night. You start for the next show. No. Well, I do. However, (laughs) Sunday night, now the video from Wednesday has finished broadcasting all the little snippets. From the newsroom. Yep. And so 6 p.m., boom. The whole newsroom. The newsroom. Now you have the full half-hour episode of the newsroom. Right. Then, following that, Monday morning, Category 5 Technology TV, the full-length episode from... The week before. The week before, Wednesday. Yeah. Gets aired. Right. On demand. Right. But before that can happen, first, Segment A and Segment B have to air. Right. So those happen. That's 12 hours. And then the full length show airs. So Monday, Wednesday's show is finished, but I already had to start Sunday's. I already had to start Wednesday's show on Sunday. Yes. In order to keep that loop going. Right. So when something like a surprise eviction happens in the middle of your week, (laughs) how does that affect you? (laughs) You're Um, busy. Yeah. How does that affect me? I'll say, honestly, 644. Episode number 644, you might notice that the newsroom music is a little bit too loud. How does that affect me? I didn't have as much time as I normally would for video production. Yep. Yeah. Plain and simple. Because you were busy looking for spots. It's Wednesday. I got the notice on Friday. Yeah. I have so far looked at five new studios. Right. Potential studio, new studio. Potential. Studio yep. E. Yeah. The most excellent studio. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's I really want to be optimistic and I and I really am, but it's really hard. It's been a hard I week. Know. Yeah. Right? And I'm just, So yes, I'm like, yes, we're gonna do this. And you'll see on the Kickstarter, and you can go to cat5.tv slash kick to support us. You'll see that I'm really trying to be positive. Yes. Mm-hmm. I have to be. But this does come as a shock, and it's a lot of work for poor Robbie, because I still have had... So, I just finished last week's episode on Monday. Yep. I didn't have to write you news stories this week. I know. Right? So, what does that mean now? Like, for everybody who's watching, like, this, this family chat where people are tuning in live, what does this mean for Cat5 for the next three, four That's weeks. That's true. What does this look like to the viewers? For the next three or four weeks, we are off the air. Which has never happened this length. Before. No. That really hurts, actually. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So while we're off the air, what are we doing? We are packing. I don't know. Because I mean, you, you guys are well. Yeah, you guys are welcome to to pitch yeah. in. Yeah. What I am personally doing, because I expect nothing of my my staff, my my volunteers, mm-hmm. my friends. But I mean, you guys are welcome to come and show up anytime. <laughs> what I am personally doing is I have to take an entire studio that's been here for six years, mm-hmm. pack it in a way that could be reassembled. Yes, but it doesn't have to happen all at once. But we have to be out of here before the 31st of March. Yeah. Right. If we are not out of here by the 31st of March, the, the, the locks lo- get changed. Yeah. The yep. locks will be changed. And then we have a big problem. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So my options are, uh, I have only two options. Well, three options. Technically, one of them is fold. Just give up. And Robbie does not give up. Yep. That doesn't okay. feel like something that any of us want to do, nor do we want you to do. And, and it's I, not really an option, and that's why I said not, two. Yeah. But really, that that would be the easy way out. Like crawl into a hole. Yeah. yeah, just cry for a day and then come back out and just work a normal, just be a normal guy. Oh, how dull. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sasha. All the normal guys going, I've got one job. I don't know. Thanks, Sasha. I was just on the verge of getting famous. <laughs> Finally, somebody recognized me at a grocery store. No um, offense to all you dull, single <laughs> job workers. Yeah. No offense. So that option A, we're throwing away. Yeah. Yeah. Robbie's a fighter. I always have been. That's why we've been here for 13 years, okay? This I feel is, like I need to play Eye of the Tiger right This now. here, right now, is Studio D. Yep. Okay. We're moving into Studio E. That's right. We can do yeah. this. We can do this. Yeah. So what are the options? I mean, there is, we find a space within the month of March. Yes. yes. That's our timeline. We have to fund it. Yeah. Right. I am not ready for that, folks. I'll be honest with you. So what does that mean at a basic level? Well, before I get into the dollars and cents, Jeff, because I, I hate this, okay? Okay. I want to be quite honest, and I want you to understand why I'm not ready for it. Why doesn't Robbie have money? Well, we're viewer-supported. We, we are viewer-supported, Jeff, but we didn't know. Well, yeah. exactly. We didn't. Oh, right. So we, it's not like we were saving up for a move. Correct. We right. were investing in Studio D up until Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So in the last month two months i got the new brick drape yep i got the new stand so that the unboxing videos can look as good as can be Mm -hmm. yep we got the new audio recorder Mm -hmm. so that we have isolated audio we've needed that for a long time Mm -hmm. we got a rack for our server because our server is a one uh two u three u server something like that and it's been sitting on a desk for years so finally, we got a rack for that, and we've and and I moved all that in because we didn't know that we were going to have to do this. I bought yep. shelving. I have one, two, three, four good shelves. Yep, for yes. storage. Yes. When when Bo was here, he saw it. When Bill was here, he didn't. We didn't have it yet. So all those boxes that used to be stacked are now nicely. Uh, nice and neat on, yeah, they are organized on shelving. We've got Ooh. four industrial kind of, like what you put in your garage, yes. right? I so, actually have the exact same ones in white. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Exactly the same, only different. Yeah. Yes. So, like, there's stuff like that. What, like, uh, there's other, like, random things. Like, we have to buy the products that we review. Yes. Right. So, I have products that I have purchased that we were going to review in the month of March. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so why aren't we ready to just move? Because right. we just, it was status quo. It was, we were doing our show. We were doing what we, what we do every single week. Yeah. There was no indication that we would not be in studio D five years from now. Absolutely. Let alone next month. <laughs> that's why. And that's why I've been working. Uh, you guys saw this wall coming out here with, cool signs i got all these tin signs i've been collecting yeah i have can i offer a suggestion yeah let's rename the season let's like rename it season 12b (laughs) season 14 can we just jump right to season 14 for those who are superstitious (laughs) that's right (laughs) oh my goodness oh idea idea for shows for the next month this is soul boo Boxing shows as opposed to unboxing. <laughs> Thanks, Solomon. <laughs> great camera. Let's go yeah, get a box. That's, that's good. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to show you. 
how to put an i9 9900k back into the decahedron <laughs> the decahedron <laughs> oh my gosh that's funny oh goodness so we don't have a show this week no, no. we don't have a show next week or the next three weeks yeah Cat5.tv slash kick yeah. is where yeah. we need you to go. We need, yeah. I, I almost it's feel like neat. that name is kind of like a double entendre. It's like it's what? about a Kickstarter, but it's also the fact that we're getting the kick. <laughs> and I'm getting a swift kick up the butt because, hey, it'll be an upgrade maybe? It's Hopefully. Can I? to be. Okay, here's the thing. And I know I am little Miss Brightside, and I realize that sometimes I can be a little rose-colored glasses and such. But... I know Studio E is going to be, the, as soon as we go live, first episode, Studio E, you are going to say, I am so happy this happened. This is it. This is the spot. Not only it's, me. That's, that's some serious optimism. It's going to feel better to be there because of the pain of now. Like, it's, yeah. it, that's mm-hmm. just the way life and this goes. Is, like, and and yep. some people have said, why don't you fight it? Your landlord well, can't do that. No. And I don't fight it because I'm Robbie and 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 that means something. Like I'm You just he, it soils the relationship, right? At the end. But it's like yeah. you want us out. I respect that. I wish you had have taken a different approach. We have been respectable. We're fantastic tenants, folks, I got to say. You we spent are, the whole day chasing a bird. Yeah, to get it out of the building for the landlord. (laughs) And then he never patched the hole that the bird came in with, so he came back in anyways. But at least I put the drop ceiling up, so (laughs) the bird couldn't get back into our unit. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot that's happened here. But it's been home, at least. I mean, we've we've had some funny things happen. We've had two weeks of no heat. That, yeah, yep. and then at the end, one, one yeah, do you want an episode. How did this come to a head? Week. How did this come to a head? Yeah, last week it was scorching in here, Jeff. Was oh, hilarious. was it? Yeah, so we had no heat for two weeks, and then, and then it was like six, a sauna. six nineteen p.m. before Wednesday's show, the heat came on and did not turn off. Oh, and so by the end of the show, oh. we were like, and of course, when I got here at four o'clock, it was 15 degrees C in here. Yeah. And I said to Sasha on Discord, I said, I make sure you wear a sweater. A sweater. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, she got here and it was like 400 degrees Celsius. <laughs> and I make my own deodorant. So. <laughs> oh. Why do I smell? <laughs> what would it be? What it's are you making human. out of? Yeah. Beeswax. Beeswax. Beeswax and Benetite clay, I think it's called. I'm picturing and... like ginger and. <laughs> a couple of drops of tea tree oil. So the landlord then, because the heat has not been working, or at least not reliable, uh, reliably, he put in um, baseboards, electric baseboards. Okay, that I'm, I'm so looking. This is this, new. I'm thinking this we, looks we really can, new. Yeah, these are new. We have two. Okay. And then the next day tells you that the next day the word was look. It's costing me too much to have you guys in Studio D. That's the landlord. Right. I don't believe it, but at the same time, uh, I'm not a f- I'm not a fighter. Yep. Well, you you are just in a different way. In the positive way, you're not confrontational. Yeah. So okay. Yes, but I am a fighter in that I I will beat no, this. You will. Not I will get up. through this. I don't yeah. care. I want everyone in our community to. To support us in this. Yeah. Because we need funds. Okay. So when you see cat5.tv slash kick, I need you right now. Yeah. However, if we get zero dollars, I will, I will find a way. I don't care if I have to sell my, my, like my own personal possessions to make this. Like, I'll find a way. I'm a it's fighter going, that yeah, way. It's going to work. We so, will be back. With so work, with that, yeah. I think that's. That's an appropriate point to you. You started to go into, we have three options and we never got into them. Yeah. So second option is we find a space that we can rent as studio E. Right. That's our second option with the cash to make it happen. We have to have the cash. Mm-hmm. That's right. I want to tell you what the cash means. So my goal on Kickstarter right now, cap TV slash kick is arbitrary. Okay. And it's very, very low because Kickstarter will only pay us will only allow us to receive the funds if we meet our goal. Mm-hmm. So if I were to tell you on Kickstarter what we really need 
and we don't achieve that, if we fall short by one dollar, we don't get it. We'll get zero. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I want you to know that the Kickstarter campaign is an arbitrary number based on this is what I based it on eight hundred dollars a month rent for first and last month's rent plus eight hundred dollars extra to give us the funds to install internet, maybe do a little bit of renovations, that kind of stuff. Okay. So very, that is like the bare minimum. We can't even be up and running with that. Mm -mm. If we got internet in for that, we'd be broadcasting from with a white wall behind us. Yep. Okay. That's, that's, that's what it would be. Yep. We need more than that. Um, I've since learned that we're going to be paying probably for a studio space about that, 800 bucks a month. So first and last month's rent, but we are also going to need a security deposit. I didn't think of that when I was setting up the Kickstarter. I wouldn't have either. And I, and I had to set this up very, very quickly. And I, I have to say kudos to Kickstarter. They said, they were awesome. Oh, it's so, so like helpful because when this happened, I learned that Kickstarter takes eight days to set up a Kickstarter campaign. Yep. And so I'm like, how are we going to do this? Yeah. The landlord didn't give us any notice. And, and Kickstarter will take 21 days then once it's over to, to pay us, to yeah. actually put the funds into my account so that I can pay for the first and last month's rent and everything else. Yep. But they expedited it for us. And we are live right now at cat5.tv slash kick. We've got that Kickstarter campaign up and running. Awesome. Yeah. It, it only started on Friday. Like, that's when I got the notice. And, and I didn't even start the Kickstarter campaign then. Like, I didn't even, obviously. Yeah, a couple of days ago. I was in shock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, I called up the landlord. I sent him emails and I said, What's, what the heck is going on? What did, I, what did I do? Oh, you didn't do anything. Right. I just need more money. Yep. And when I say that, can I just say, um, the more money? <laughs> if we wanted to stay here, he would double our rent. Oh! It's not, yeah, it's just not feasible. It's not feasible, and it's more than this place is worth. Absolutely. So there is that technicality that, yes, we wow. could potentially stay here, but we'd be paying twice as much as we currently pay. It just, yeah, it's not an option. It's not an option. And, yeah. and uh, for those who have been here at Studio D, you know that it's just a square it's a square in a big building, yeah. and we're the only tenant. <laughs> yeah. And that's what it boils yeah. down to. It boils down to they just want the space. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. That's all. So let's, let's make it unreasonable so that they leave. Yeah. yeah. Studio D is nothing compared to what Studio okay. E will be. <laughs> all right. Thanks, so, Ash. She's yeah, well. positivity over here. So I know you've talked a little bit about so that's, that's what two. goes into, into it. Yeah. Now, Do you option want three? three. I want option three. Option I don't, three. I don't, be clear. Yeah. I don't want option three. I want to hear option three. Mm-hmm. Huh. Option three. I want option two. Okay. Option one is not on the table. Yeah. Shutting down. Yeah. Well, it is technically. We could go out of business tomorrow. Sure. Okay. Because if none of you decide to support us, I can't carry this. No, that's, yeah, per- that's personally. Can't go back to your basement. <laughs> my daughter's in high school now my kids played nintendo switch on the tv down there there's no way we're Zero going back percent chance okay yeah just i have i have a marriage that i need to <laughs> yes from falling apart <laughs> yeah. my garage was another thought yep yeah and it's not an option i have a single car garage i thought i'd renovate it we priced it out seventeen thousand dollars to renovate <laughs> oh it. okay so you think Ow. about that no it's not happening it's not insulated it's not we got to put in everything plus then we'd have to well, like where do we put our garbage now when you know because you got yeah. the garbage bins that don't go out until wednesday Garb- yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. Not an option. So option one is to fold, to give up yeah. immediately, which I'm not doing. No. Not I doing will that. I will only fold if we cannot s- succeed after trying option three. Okay. So okay. option one is to fold. Yep. Not gonna do it. Option two is our community comes together and says category five dot TV is an amazing group of people. An amazing community. It's a great show. Maybe I don't always agree with them. Maybe sometimes Jeff is even a little bit confused. (laughs) 
Maybe I want to argue with him. I never argue with Jeff. Never. Never. But we love this show. And and we we do this because like the world needs more shows like Category 5 where it's I just agree. Yeah, it's just great friends hanging out, having a nice time, learning about tech. And there's really just there's no threat here. Mm-hmm. It's safe for the family and that if you want to bring the kids in, you don't have to worry about Robbie cussing and doing whatever else. Exactly. You know, there's there's just none of that. Exactly. Except so, maybe last Friday. What did I do? Oh, Friday. <laughs> Friday I wasn't on the air, Jeff. No, I was in tears. I wasn't swearing. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, so option two is to get into Studio E with the support of our community. Because mm-hmm. I can't do it. <laughs> I yep. can't. I can't afford it personally. Personally, I can't. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd love to say I could. I really want. I I feel like I'm at that. I'm 40 years old. I I feel like I I should be at that place where I can say, oh, I've got enough money that you know I can afford mm-hmm. to do these things. I give to other people, and I really do. Mm-hmm. And I don't need to get into that. Well, you've but, always had a generous heart. I certainly try. And when there's a need, I, I step up to the occasion. I rise up. I had somebody that I have never, ever really communicated with, but I know, like, and he's a broadcaster. And he went on Twitter and said, I have a need. Please support me. Here's my pay, uh, PayPal. So I sent him 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know any, I have no idea what he needed. I don't have any clue what what that was about Mm -hmm. and i never asked i'm just like okay there's a need i don't have a lot of money at all i just i work full time and i get paid by the hour yep and i feel like i'm i'm underpaid for for my skill set but that's what it is i'm content so i'll keep doing it but a need arose and i said sure i didn't even say (laughs) there there's that 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 idiom that says like just you know just give and and don't even know what you're doing you know Mm -hmm. so so that's what i try to do but here's a situation where i can't i can't do that for here yeah there's just too much of a need yeah so i need the community come together that's option b get into studio e that's the best option of course Mm -hmm. option c is we can't afford it we're not going to fold we're not going to give up but we can't do it so we're going to take everything that we own category five technology tv and we're just going to rent a storage locker yep and we're going to say we're going to take all the money that we have which isn't a lot but you know there's 1200 bucks in the bank and we're going to say with that money i'm going to rent a storage locker until we expire that fund Mm -hmm. and if which is for what we have can you do a show out of You're looking locker? at No, you can't. You're looking at 3 months tops. No. Yeah. No, I would expect we could get a storage locker for 150 bucks a month. Not for the size you need. For storage. We'd have to get rid of a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, if we got rid of stuff, we'd be good. I'm talking keep the cameras, keep the TVs, keep yeah. the servers. We'll we'll get rid of the de- we'd have to get rid of the desks. Yeah. We'd have but like monitors, cameras, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Broadcast equipment. We could store that for 150 bucks a month, give or take. So we're like really working toward option two or B. Option C is only a fail safe. Yeah. So option C says, okay, we'll, we'll go into storage temporarily Mm -hmm. and still fight to try to find studio E. Mm Yeah. I don't want to take that option. It's not a good option. It's not the option that, any of us want. Mm-hmm. No. I want to be on the air in April. Mm-hmm. I want to be back on the air in April. Yeah, April's my birthday month. Is it? So we yes. have to do it. Folks, there you have it. We have we have no choice. Yeah. That's right. Take your bank account and empty it into ours. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sasha's birthday month. <laughs> That's funny. No, but you know what? I, uh, one of the things I have loved about this show, it, it is totally community. And... Um, and even like I think about when Sasha wanted to do the computer build, mm-hmm. and it's like the community is like we're in it, we're here to help it, and that's one of the great things. Not only the life. community, but who else? You, yeah, yeah. I'm like Sasha, let's do this exactly. <laughs> and I, I mean, I'm the host on. of the show. I run this place. Yeah, I I own the company, but 
I'm like, I'm all in. It Let's was, do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll teach you. I'll and, and so it vicariously became a chance for viewers to learn how to build a computer. Oh, yeah. But so much Some fun. of you have already done it before, but it, uh, hey. Yeah. For those who have never built a computer, it was a great opportunity. That's right. Mm-hmm. And that took you to the next level, too. Mm-hmm. So then when we brought out the Raspberry Pi, you're just like, heck yeah. Like, <laughs> this is like this. Totally. I've done like this. Yeah. yeah. It up my street cred for sure. <laughs> yeah. It, it, folks, if you can't give, if you don't have the funds to give, that's okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do not feel bad. I'm not oh. putting that. I'm not. I'm putting pressure on, but I'm not putting guilt on. Okay. Yeah. Right. I want you to understand yeah. that. Um, we love you regardless. I'm Absolutely. here for you regardless. You know, I mean, there are folks in our chat who I have sent flash drives of our show to just so that you could watch the show because you don't have good internet. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. So don't feel bad if you can't give. I don't know. It's okay. Not at all. If you can give though, or if you have influence at your company, if you're the owner of your company, it's an opportunity to be a part of something like category five is amazing. We love this place mm-hmm. and not just the, not just the physical studio D, but the the place that we've created on the web the community yes. and and this family and i don't want to be here just on a wednesday night chatting in the discord which i will do mm-hmm. but i want to be broadcasting i want to be giving you the latest features i'm constantly i mean you guys don't necessarily know even no i'm constantly in discussions like today I was in discussions with three different companies about what features we're going to do in April hmm. because I, I had to tell them, I'm sorry. No, and four companies really, because Nelson Hudis also messaged me asking me to do a feature for him. Mm-hmm. Wow. You guys remember him and, and, and we love working with him and his company. Um, and, and he's in PR. So we have PR reps that bring us companies that want to do shows with us. And I had to tell Nelson, I'm sorry, man. We're closed for the month of March. Mm-hmm. And I want to work heavy. with you. I yeah. want to work with you. But I have no yep. choice. So get your companies together and say, this is something we can stand behind. Yep. And, uh, and whether it's 20 bucks or whether it's 2000 bucks, it really is just down to what you th- feel like you can do. Exactly. Okay. So are we able to talk about the Kickstarter itself? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the tiers. The, like the like the rewards that we yes. have set up? <laughs> We've tried to set up some fun rewards. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and we went up. Um, okay, so I, I need to preface this. Can I just this. punch you in the gut as a demonstration as what this is oh going to be like? So I need to, okay. I, I need to preface this. So when, when Robbie's talking about this Kickstarter, he's like, hey, <laughs> Jeff, Sasha, what could you guys do? What is your talent? Yeah, and what's like, your talent? I will have a. <laughs> Sasha's like, I could talk to people. And I go, I have zero talents. Nothing <laughs> that I can offer right now. And I'm than, like, well, could we shoot you? <laughs> yeah. So, turns out, I'm going to be experiencing pain. In one form or possibly two. Yes. As a result of this. There's, yeah, there's a guaranteed element of pain. If well, I may animals. say... If there is anyone in the community, <laughs> anyone whatsoever who has ever said, oh, I wish I could shoot Jeff with a, <laughs> with a paintball gun and, and <laughs> not just one paintball, but enough paintballs, like say 500, that would inflict pain on this the guy. The things I do for you guys. Okay. You. So, yeah. So then we're going to take it to the next level and we're going to say, okay. And is this okay? Did oh, you? yeah. Yeah. Okay. I had to run that by her. Just yeah. there. You saw it happen. Yeah. <sighs> Sasha's pulling the trigger. <laughs> Sasha is going to praise your name. Jeff is going to curse it. So, because for all if these you years contri- we've been fighting, yes. So it's for, payback. For the person who contributes the most amount throughout the campaign, or person or company, uh, Jeff will take. 10% of that in paintball bullets up yep. to 500. Yep. So <laughs> we can shoot them. Finally, the opportunity has arisen. And my aim I've been is waiting to actually this. half bad. Excellent. Oh, what, really? You tell me that now? <laughs> if you have any trouble, Sasha, we can move you closer. 
Point, uh, point blank is not out of the question. Uh, <laughs> okay. What else is there as far as uh, contributorship rewards? Well, for even a, a dollar donation, there's... A buck? Get, a, a what? A buck. Oh, if I said a bike, I'm like, I didn't see no. that. <laughs> <laughs> a bike for a dollar. For a buck, we will sing for you. That, that's right. Tell uh, them about that. Yeah. So, my goodness. Uh, many, many, many moons ago, back when, uh, wow. when you had hair and I could not grow facial hair, huh. uh, you had a band. Uh, I did. And so you put out an album and... I put out three albums, two of which went number one. That's right. And one of them happens to contain a song that both you and I were on. So could I just say, so what happened is, is that Jeff and I were, we were both working in the radio station at that time. At at this point, I think, I think we've been in cahoots for 20 years. Not at, not at the, not when we did soul cleansed. No, but. When I, right started, now. when I started in radio, it's been it was but I, years ago. My question is, did you record that at the radio station, or did you come to my studio? I came to your studio okay. upstairs on the top floor, the cornerback bedroom. That's funny. Yeah. So yep. we, so my wife and I, so it's always been the case where Robbie's always had a studio. So if it wasn't Category 5, it was music production. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I produced music, um, like, eh. I don't know. You call it semi-professionally, but I created. We I created. Tour. We were on tour. We, we had. had uh, yeah, we played at the Canadian Gospel Music Awards. Uh, yep. We we were one of the. Uh, well, we were actually the first hip hop band ever to play at the Gospel Music Awards. And I was there that night. They didn't. Oh, were you? I was there that oh, night. Oh, nice. How was the show? I don't remember a lot, <laughs> but I do remember that you guys were good. We were headlining with Keeping It Real, so that was our first full length CD mm-hmm. and uh and the gospel music awards had us there to play uh our title track keeping mm-hmm. it real yep. which was the sweet track and it went number 1 on on radio all over Canada yep. um then um we actually on that CD so that CD this is interesting that CD was produced because we worked in radio mm-hmm. so i used the studio in between voice tracks Oh, did you? I did. We had road NT ones all over the place. I had so no clue. Yep. So I pulled up Gold Wave and I recorded my vocal tracks. Yep. Then I sent it over to the power plant. They produced it for me and put it all together into the tracks and mastered it. Yeah. And then we released the CD. And uh, very cool. We I had boxes and boxes of it in my garage for yep. a while. Yep. <laughs> so you came to the studio at my house. Yes. Recorded a track. That's right. And uh, we released that, but it has kind of gone by the wayside as far as now 2020 goes. Yep. It was a pretty pretty good track at that time. It, yes. Did that track go number one, do you remember? I I don't remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> I don't remember Where what did you like... go? What was interesting about where did you go? Because, uh, I mean, I'm talking about gospel gospel music but uh, so christian radio but um where did you go was interesting because it was an allegory so yeah. it transcended that christian um radio mindset and moved into mainstream yeah which was pretty cool so um so it turned out to be a bit of a love song kind of thing mm-hmm. but um but pretty interesting and jeff being having come to the studio uh, to record his bit actually yep. recorded a full verse yep and we're giving that away for a buck yep and i said on on kickstarter if we could get ten thousand people to contribute to that then we'd have a bestseller that's right (laughs) finally after all these years (laughs) finally after all these years yeah so but i mean that's just to start for a buck that's just a buck like that's nothing yeah like that's a buck thanks man there you go i'm not giving that back i know you're not i need it so bad right now i'm getting a song (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but from there i mean the 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 tiers of donations go up i think it goes from a buck to five bucks to ten bucks all the way up to uh the single donation (laughs) of five thousand dollars that oh you guys ready for this i i need to be abundantly clear i was joking and i took at i just took it and ran with it yes you did and, ki- and so kickstarter approved it <laughs> Kickstarter approves it. he's like hey with jeff sasha here's the kickstarter mind. i look at it and i get to five thousand, and i go 
Oh, what? Dear. Oh, my. He did it. <laughs> and my wife is thrilled. Oh. Yes. Thrilled enough that she'll donate. Thrilled uh, enough that she's like, I am going to be Did you cancel her credit card? Enjoying this <laughs> every moment of the way. Do you want to tell them what it is? Uh, no, it doesn't exist. Okay. Yep. No. Get over to cat5.tv <laughs> slash kick. And if you'd like to give this guy a really swift kick, there's a couple of ways to do that. I'm never joking again. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to do a couple. I mean, there's chances for you to have a, a one-on-one video chat with Sasha. Yep. There's a chance for you to have me produce some music for you, which um, I'll admittedly say. I'm out of practice. It's been a lot of years since I produced music, yep. but I am really into doing that. Yep. And especially, I'm going to have some downtime regardless in that I, I, we're not going to be up and running at the first week of April. That's mm-hmm. for sure, right? Yeah. Because we still have to have internet installed and everything else. Get the and studio set up. Get everything set up and built and renovated and everything else. So there's a lot that has to go into it. Yeah. Yeah, um, four chances at the 5,000 level. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I yeah. thought it would be great if I set that to like 5,000 chances. What that actually means... <laughs> You're evil. <laughs> what that actually means is that four people are going to be able to participate. So we're not going to do it to him four times. So for those of you who are wondering, yes, we are going to inflict an insane amount of pain. The women who are watching this, you definitely want to find out more about this. Not that we're going to do this to you four times. However, up to four individual patrons, uh, pardon me, I use the word patrons, uh, uh, Kickstarter supporters are going to be able to participate in real time live with this particular event. Yep. We're going to set up a Zoom meeting and you're going to be able to do that. And speaking of Zoom meetings, we are willing to have one right now. So because we're not doing a real show... If anyone would like to join us for a Zoom meeting mm-hmm. tonight, um, I'd love to welcome you. Now, I just want to say thank you to those of you who have pledged so far. Um, wow. So, so far tonight, we are up to $794 That's amazing. Thank Canadian uh, of our $3,100 goal. And that is just, oh, I love you. Thank you so, so very close much. That's so to a third. So wonderful. Um, <laughs> Let's jump into uh, Zoom. So if you have a webcam, that's great. If you don't, use your phone, install the Zoom app. I'm going to create a um, a link for you, and I I want you to get over to our Discord or IRC. I'm going to be posting a link that is special for this broadcast so that you can join in. Mm -hmm. And Zoom will only allow us to run this for up to 40 minutes. So we've got to be we got to be quick, folks. So be quick about this. And I want you to join us and say hi. So I'm just creating this link for you. You can see that. Uh, well, I thought so, but it looks like it's not quite broadcasting yet over this screen. I'm just going to go over here. Don't mind the black screen, folks. I think. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, you yep. guys can still hear me, but you can't see me yet. Uh, I just want to check my laptop, find out what's going on here. Uh, let's see, display, I'm on Linux Mint, and I'm just setting up a Zoom meeting for you guys live. It's not seeing the HDMI. That's not exactly what I was hoping for tonight, but it's okay, because Studio E is going to be so much more reliable. I know, right? Yep. Everything is just going to work. It's going to be amazing. Will any services be interrupted by the shutdown? Only the fact that we cannot broadcast from this week forward. Okay. Yep. So. When this, when we are done here tonight, see, we're doing this for you and and to promote awareness about the need. Mm-hmm. Um, but essentially, I have to turn everything off at the end of the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have to. I have to pack. Yeah. We have to be ready that if when the movers come, we and I hope that we'll have the funds to hire movers. Um, cause like, I'm just one guy. I can yeah. lift 30 pounds. Awesome. So, Thanks, bud. so, so that's, I mean, that's the limit of every box. So, <laughs> I'm going to get yeah. a scale and measure it. Make 30 sure. Pounds. 30 so pounds. today is the, what are we talking about? Today is the, the fourth. fourth. It's the dude. fourth of March. Yeah. And you said Kickstarter requires 21 days. So even if forget about that. Okay. Because if I know 
that we have the pledges there, yep. I'll personally fund it. Okay. Okay. Fair so enough. I will personally make sure that we get there. We get there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, but but I need to know that the funds are there. Yeah, I, exactly. I need to know that when Kickstarter ends and the and 21 days pass and they finally transfer the funds to my account that I'm reimbursed for that. Of course. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. That's that's what it boils yeah. down to. Um okay, so I'm Marshman will be here. Marshman, thank you. Marshman making the trek up. Uh the plan is to come up from from uh down in New York and visit nice. us and help us with the move. That's cool to have He's a viewer. Walk for the steps. That's very cool. You know what, Marshman? He already please gets make enough sure steps. <laughs> message me in Discord Gosh. like PM me the dates you're going to be here because I don't think we've actually met in person yet. No, no, that's you true. Yeah, you yeah. Not met so I've wow. got to meet Marshman. I, I mean, I've met Bo and his sure wife. You do from Ameridroid. Yeah, uh, we went out for dinner and got uh, went to a restaurant where apparently there was like it was fun. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> If you think it was a bad email to have to send out to you guys to say, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, the hey fun Bo. we've had. Hey, Bo, I'm sorry to have to tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. So we went out for dinner and I'm. It was uh, delicious. It was, it was expensive. It was expensive and it was an amazing meal. But then, what, like not even a week later? Yes. There's a public health alert that one of the kitchen staff had. As an STI, and don't worry, none of us were affected. Yeah, thank. And, and and proper precautions were not taken, so they had to alert everybody that oh my you gosh. may have come in contact. And we're like, so if you've oh. been considering coming for dinner with the Category Five crew, there are certain restaurants we will not we will frequent not anymore. It was good food. <laughs> it's great food, but man, I'm not, not, I have not been back there. I have, no, not, no. I have also not been back. Every except, time I drive, except by, except I'm for like, the time when I needed to get the inoculation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was just <laughs> wow. Oh. oh, Bo, I love you guys. Uh, I don't remember which one it was. Marshman. It was one of the above. Yep. Oh, uh, it was. Why can't I get this working? I, I don't know. Because I'm just fed up with tech right now. Because it's been such a hard week. <laughs> uh, can we use Sasha's? Do you laptop? have? No, it's no. not that. It's uh, so. Do you guys have Zoom up and running? I just need to make sure that the know. cable... Oh, I know why it is. Oh, you started packing up the cables. Yeah. I've been I've been disconnecting things. Yeah. So that is that is what it is, right? <sighs> and I'm we'll doing, my, I'm doing my best. March, man. You'll be okay. Unless you're lactose intolerant oh. like me. Speaking of viruses... <laughs> Wow! Thanks for the transition. Uh, it's 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 just coming out now that the uh, coronavirus is mutating. There's now a second strain. Oh yes. Yeah. Good times. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we're just full of negativity tonight. <laughs> okay, let's see if that. I have no worked. way to spin that. Yeah, hey, look, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. We've got Zoom. Oh, uh, Garby, it hurts to have to say it. What are you saying? Garby said he hasn't been around much due to work, but it hurts still to hear. It hurts yeah. to say. <laughs> it is a reality, but I mean, we're not going anywhere. No. Just, I sure hope not. We're just we will not be back. going to be here for the rest of the month. And I do want to be clear that there is that chance. <laughs> like this, realistically, from a business perspective, right. okay? Yeah. Yes. So let's talk business. From a business perspective, Category 5 Technology TV, we've operated on a shoestring budget forever. Yeah. Right, yeah. thirteen years, mm -hmm. and so we we can pull this off because we're because we've never overspent. Right. I'm I'm very cautious and I'm very um, careful that we don't overspend. Yep. Right, yep. Um, and we don't have a lot of money to spend. So what can you do? No. Yeah, Season but two. with any business, a crisis like this, there, the, <clears throat> yeah, there's a very real chance of folding. Yep. Going out of business, like not having the funds. If I didn't have the funds to move into a new studio space, or if if we don't find a new studio space within the next three weeks and secure it yeah. and get insurance and get internet. Well, we don't need internet to move, but definitely to we need to we, and yeah, we need we'll to have a space at least. If we don't get those things, then yeah, we go out of business. Oh. We're a business technically. Yeah. Even, oh, just because we do it for free doesn't mean we're not a business. We got to pay the bills. Okay, I'm trying to find you guys the link to join 
the uh okay i'm gonna invite there's our fan look at that our biggest fan that happened two weeks ago yep and the fan just arrived yesterday uh, okay and i'm like i can't even install it because okay there you go guys there's 95 seats to join our zoom so get on over there come say hi I'm going to pop up our screen there. You guys should be able to hear me, though, because I've got the blue uh, Yeti Pro microphone. So come say hi. Sasha, you tell me if anyone shows up on the screen there, will you? Okay. And I'm just yeah. going to add a uh, a footer. Oh, Marsh Oh, there's Marshman. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Oh, Marshman. Now, I don't think that we can hear you yet, so hang in there. This is not like your usual broadcast quality show of Category 5 TV. That looks like a very comfortable chair. It looks a lot like Robbie's chair, just different color. Oh, really? Well, like the, the back shape. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good neck support. You could like lean back and take a nap in that chair. <laughs> Yeah, I we can't hear you yet. We're just talking about you. We're working on it. Yeah, Robbie's getting you set up. Oh, yeah. I'm working on it, Bill. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. <laughs> he's a, he's just, having a nap while yeah. you work on okay, it. Okay, you, you have a rest. <laughs> okay, let's see what I can do here. Um, okay. I got to figure out how all these buttons work. <laughs> and get. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Okay. Hey, no Man 5 says he can hear the fan this time. Couldn't hear it during the interview. That's probably because of the Yeti mic, right? Maybe. Okay, so... I don't think hitting it helps. Did last week. I think that that was just... No, I bought a new I fan. Know. I bought a new fan for it, Jeff. Oh, oh there we go. Oi, oi. DJ mic's on. Yay! What? <clears throat> Very cool. That's... Hang in there, folks. Don't worry. We're getting there. Okay. So I just need to change. Okay. I need to click on. I'm just learning this new console, too, we folks. Why did this sooner? Like, not get it sooner. <laughs> Why did we do it sooner? <laughs> Thanks, Why Sasha. Why did we do one of these oh. Zoom meetings sooner? Well, because it's so confusing as far as, like, pushing the buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and this okay. is, like, the new soundboard thingy. Yeah. That fan really is annoying. Yeah. It is really annoying. Okay, so I need to change my monitor selection to effect send. I want to be okay, careful. check, check, check. Okay, so you can still hear me out of the speakers. I need to be able to hear Bill. That's the problem. And DJ Mike. Yeah, well, anyone coming out of that computer for sure. Okay, so oh, I've got... He's typing. he's typing something probably very smart in the chat room. Let's see. See you, no man. Have a good one. Oh, Agamotto's here, too. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All of my friends. Uh, okay. I'm going to check. I just want to check if Zoom is set to, like, a different output. Just bear with me here, folks. Don't worry. It's going to be... It's going to work. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Y'all are going to be like, whoa, this is so cool. All right. Uh, output device. Analog output. That. Oh, it's pointing it output to the blue USB audio. Headphones. Agamotto is the only one without glasses on. Hi. Hello? <laughs> Somebody say something. I can hear you clearly. Yay! I love you! Thank you, Mike! Yes! Woohoo! Okay. All right. That works. Hey, Agamotto. Marshman, how are you, my friend? I'm holding up. Holding up? Heck of a week, isn't it? Killer. Killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't take this. I, it's like there's like five second delays here and there. Oh, goodness. Uh, echo, 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 echo. <laughs> and our fan noise. <laughs> this has just been. Oh, Bill. <laughs> that's, that's been fun. Well, Bill, just look into my eyes. Just know, man. I appreciate you, dude. <laughs> the fan noise is nonstop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that better? Is this better like that? <laughs> Does that help when I do that? <laughs> he has a severe delay. <laughs> I don't I don't mean you have a severe <laughs> delay. <laughs> but the uh, microphone. Wait for a second till the words get to Oh yes. Okay. 
Let's make sure that I've got the right microphone selected in Zoom. I just want to be absolutely sure. I like being able to see everybody's faces. We should just it's do this nice. all the time. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Hello, my people. Yeah, that's the blue. So can you guys hear me okay right now? Or is the yep. fan just too noisy? No, I hear you clear. And Bill, you you have trouble hearing me? Or there's a delay or hmm. I'm like I'm kissing the microphone right now. That's like a No, I hear everything twice. Twice? <laughs> Are, oh, do you have the feed up up as well? Maybe you just need no. to no? no? I have the CP up. Hold on. <laughs> oh, who's that? I just saw, yeah. yeah, I just saw some, a Solbu. <gasps> Has no a Solbu? Hey, hey Solbu. I'm going to turn up our speakers so that this I can hear you guys. Me so oh, happy. I love you guys. Oh my goodness. Ah. I got it fixed. You got it? This is great. And then Okay, who can hear us right now? You guys can hear us? No? Yeah? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You guys hear us? I can, can hear you. You can hear yeah. me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Hi, Agamotto. Agamotto, do you have a microphone working? Now, now you're fainted. Well, because I stood way back there. If you just <laughs> oh. want me to, like, get right in here. Hey, I can turn up the volume on the mic. Uh, is that any better? Oh, this thing is nasty. Not, no, that's not the ba a background. Yeah. You got that? Can you hear me okay now? You guys hear me all right? Yeah. Hi, yeah, Solbu. Um, yes, yeah. I can hear. We can hear you. Okay. This is exciting. Okay, so I imagine that you guys can hear us all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Fantastic. All right. So, hey, welcome to the show. Well, sort of. Ish. What a week we've had. Um, <sighs> it's nice to have you guys here. On camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got, I have to look over there because that's what the world is seeing, Bill. I do. You, would you rather me just look at you? I can look at you, you but go. then everyone else will be like, "You're looking at the wrong camera." Oh my goodness! It's the same thing with me. I have uh, 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 you guys on on this monitor, and the camera is on this monitor. Oh yes, right. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. This is my everyday oh, okay. life. I never know what to what to. So I could ever. I could pull this up, and you'll see yeah. what we're we're looking at you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, but I want I want the viewers at home to be able to see you. That's all. Yeah. So yeah, there's definitely some inception going on here. That's for sure. Yes. Oh, my coffee yeah. is finished. <laughs> oh, gotta get the coffee. Look at that beautiful yeah. kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, quite a week, folks. So, yeah. This is... So, I mean, okay, that's as far as we planned that's for. Like, yeah, questions, <laughs> any... <laughs> questions, comments, thoughts, concerns. Yeah, any of those things. Solbu, did you see this coming? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was in cahoots with the landlord. We were like, yeah, just get them out. Just get them out. <laughs> we're, we're moving in. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have a shed and a, a, a garage uh, that you can use if you need to. Can I ask you, does your shed have high-speed internet? <laughs> yeah, I have a 100 megabit. Um, Perfect. And, uh, in the shed. Fiber. His shed has 100 megabit. Our studio only has 20 megabit. <laughs> what the heck? Dude. That's the commute to and if, and if I want, I can get a, a 1.5 uh, gigabit internet. Um, um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got 940. Okay. Oh, come on. Now we're just showing off. <laughs> That's oh, amazing. <laughs> I'll prove it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we got... We got <laughs> DJ Mike and Solbu are about to go into a speed test battle. <laughs> this is taking a turn. Oh, boy. Oh, that's good. I wonder yeah, what kind of internet we're going to have at Studio E. 
is a, a, a huge step upwards uh, from the previous one. I had uh, 16 uh, megabit uh, down and uh, yep. one megabit upload before I wow. made it. As we're looking at Studio E, I have to look at like what kind of internet is available, and we're talking about, you know, do they have 100 megabit and 250 megabit and gigabit Ethernet? And it's like, it really reminds me how far technology has come, because, hey, when we moved in here, it was like 20 megs was fantastic. Yeah. Well, and I mean, because we were here, we also had like, we had to have the line of sight transmission there for a bit where we had that thing in the hallway right 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 yeah like we've got the antenna some crazy yeah. stuff here yeah and wild. now now we have an antenna uh, ubiquity on the roof yeah yeah uh, that's pointed at a tower across the way mm -hmm. good times so is yeah an, an, an antenna is, is that yours or, or, or you, do you need to leave that behind what's that oh, the, antenna. The, the antenna it's is which it ours? which one the on the roof that's not the ours. one that we currently have solbu yeah. yeah. The one that we currently have is a ubiquity, um, like a, a, an access point, I guess. Like they're like point to point fiber, I think they are. And uh, there's a um, cellular phone company about whew, 200 yards away from us. Mm -hmm. And they have a tower on their roof. And that tower has the other ubiquity. Uh, and so we're uh, hey Agamotto uh, so we're actually tapping into their internet 200 yards away using a ubiquity wireless connection yeah but the, the, the antenna on the roof do you need to leave that behind when you're moving out hey, oh yeah do we get to pack up that antenna? I think I finally figured this oh, out oh I see no it belongs to the ISP <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna I'll be honest, I haven't contacted the ISP yet because I don't want them to show up and, and cancel our internet ahead of time. Right. So, um, and I know we've got a little bit of feedback. I'll fix that in post as best I can. Um, I don't want to have them cancel the internet before we're ready to move out. Right. So we want to have that until the end of the month. Yeah. Um, I'm hearing you again. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that must I be heard Agamotto feet. speaking, actually. So you found your voice now. I don't want to have them cancel the internet before we're ready to move out. There's a whole oh. bunch of... Until the so that's somebody Echoing playing the feed. Delays. Yeah, I think, I think it's Agamotto who's listening as we speak. <laughs> Agamotto. Well, that would suck to have it cut off before you guys actually move out. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, it would. So Agamotto, I think you have your speakers on, and it's causing feedback. <laughs> <laughs> I think it. I think what's happening is he's wa listening on the actual feed, and then there's the zoom. Do you have the feed online, Agamotto? Because you could turn oh, off. The oh, maybe that's it. Yeah. Yes. Now we're hacking the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yes. Okay. I have a. I know I turned them down. Oh, there you go. Uh, now I can hear you great. Okay. <sighs> so yeah, that's that's how we're currently oh, getting I internet. I still have it running. Yes. Okay. Yep. That's how we currently have internet. I didn't want to give them the notice beforehand because if they just showed up and pulled it off our roof, we'd have no internet. And my thinking about that is because I want the Kickstarter campaign. How's that? Fantastic. Good. I want the kick. Kickstarter campaign to be able to have the live vlogs. So oh, I, right. I want to be able to have the live Zoom meetings and stuff. <laughs> so we have to have that ability to have internet access at least until the end of the month. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So as far as like what we're packing up here. Oh boy. Like how like I I I want to know how you do that. How I do that? Like, like, how do you segment this up and be like, okay, this is going to the studio, mm -hmm. this is going to the studio, this is storage. Like, because I see every, I see six years. Yeah. It's like, how do you differentiate uh, that? So how do I select what's going to the studio and what's going to go to storage? Or yeah, I think it boils down to what we need. Yeah. yeah. And what studio we end up with, with space. Yeah, the space. Right? Because yeah. say we were to end up with a studio with the same amount of space, we could move everything. Yeah. So it's Bam. not it's not just about packing up. It's about... It's just uh, it's just being wise. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, t like uh, stuff like this, like a shelf. 
I'm like, anybody want a shelf? Yeah. You know, but I mean, the camera I'll take mm -hmm. to the studio and set that up. So, yeah. This is going to be okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That'll be good. Um, so, please, if you are watching right now and you're wondering what's going on, cat5.tv slash kick is where you want to go to be able to support our need to move into Studio E, which comes to us as a surprise. It's a <laughs> shock. Yeah. yeah. But it needs to be done, so um, we appreciate everybody's support in doing that. Uh, back over to Zoom. I know. I'm distracted by my strong desire to reach through the screen and hug each and every one of you. Oh, yes. I can't. I don't know how to make that happen. Is that possible? <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Thanks, Bill. I needed that, dude. I really needed one. that. Perfect. <laughs> I'll be there in a few weeks. Okay. That sounds good. Sasha, you have VR. You can do it. That's right. That's right. I can yeah. do it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How do we actually set that up? Yeah. Okay, so we have like a Category 5 hug room <laughs> on VR. <laughs> That's so hilarious. I'm picturing... Oh, I'm sure we can set up something. Like <laughs> why is it? Honestly, why is it that I'm picturing a bunch of piglets? <laughs> And what are like, you saying? <laughs> have you oh, not seen the VR video? Oh that's my goodness! Yeah. yeah, like uh, we've got Sonic the Hedgehog and Piglet, <laughs> basically. Yeah, oh, that's oh. funny. Agamotto, how have you been, my friend? Uh, dealing with some sinus problems, but not bad. I'm on vacation, so hey. this is nice. Oh, very good. Very sorry good. To hear that. Sorry to hear that he's on vacation. No, no, no the vacation, not, the, the vacation part. To be honest, the vacation part sounds really nice. Yes, like I take you up on that right now. But the sinus, <laughs> sinusitis, though, I could do without. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the joys of living right off the Mississippi. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> you don't even know, man. If I walk out the front door, I am up to my knees in snow. So <laughs> yeah, we got dumped on this past week. Yeah, uh, I've been lucky with that this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm ready for winter no, to be over. Too much snow, thank God. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, we we've had an ebb and flow here in Canada. Yeah, at least Ontario, southern Ontario. Well, yeah, east eastern Canada has yeah. really got walloped. That but has been another do. story. You've probably seen that in the news, but yeah. no, but that was pretty severe. So this year, yeah. anyways. Well, but but yeah. here is not that bad. No. No, but no. we've had, like, it comes and goes. Like, it melts, and we're like, yay, spring's finally here. Nope. Yeah. We always and have, like, third and fourth winters. The 60s and the 30s. Yeah, oh, yeah. exactly. So that's yeah. all right. Yeah. That's okay. So, yeah, good times. Yeah, we've lucked out here in New York, too. Yeah. yeah. Bill's got a snowblower, so <laughs> he doesn't feel my pain. You don't have a snowblower? I don't have a snowblower, no. Oh, my uh, goodness. You know what? I will say Where would I put it? At? You know, I, I mentioned how small my garage is. I, I have a <laughs> snowblower. I didn't fire it up once this winter. No? Really? Yeah. Wow. I should have fired it up when we had that big snow this past weekend. Yeah. But it yeah, was yeah. sitting outside the house, and it, it itself got buried. I have two oh things, my. a snowblower <laughs> and a husband. So oh, there that, you go. That works. That's all you need. Those oh, are the two yeah. things that you need. Oh, now the yeah. truth comes out. Dar Dara knows what she's talking about. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Snowblower and a husband. That's it. That's all you need. That works. So, yeah. I have a snowblower too, but I, um, I, uh, I, uh, the first minute I run it, I uh, broke it. So I, oh, no. oh, my goodness. Oh, did you do that? Right. Dude. Did you, did you snow? My yard is gravel, and it, uh, oh. Oh, no. it stopped, stopped, and it broke something. That oh. Oh, no. oh, no. That's something I would do. But I have a, I have shovel snow maybe three times okay. this winter, so it's not uh, work yet. Solvu, I'm concerned about your ability to read the manual. <laughs> What what part of snowblower sounds like gravel blower to you? Rock thrower. My sister gave it to me uh, um, after I moved here, and she's had it for uh, ten years. So uh, manual? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> no manual. Yeah, that's it's right. It's lost long ago. <laughs> <laughs> The, oh, the that's belt good. was worn and it snapped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, what if you tried to throw gravel out of it, Bill? <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Good <there>. times. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to resurface the road, but it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, eh? <laughs> Just kind of move it onto the yard. Hey, do you guys, um, the folks that are on Zoom, do you have any questions for us with regards to what's going on, or do you have anything to say uh, while we're here? Well, you made it pretty clear. It's just it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Statement. Agamotto, I'm with you there, buddy. Yeah. But we've one thing I was thinking about when you described uh, uh, your normal uh, week operation. Do um, uh, you have any days off at all? Uh, once a year. <laughs> you take a weekend one, one time. Yeah. What 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 we have done now in the past we've done what we call the cottage special. And the cottage special was me packing up studio equipment, going to my cottage with the family, and spending most of the time down, like just relaxing and enjoying being at the cottage. And then uh, Wednesday night, going somewhere that has internet, because at the cottage there's just no internet, <laughs> and broadcasting live from there. So we did that from Silver Beach Developments a development that had high speed internet up in cottage country because it's not it wasn't at the time heard of up there um uh, we've done all kinds of stuff yep. mm -hmm. that was the cottage special but yeah. the past 2 years you know, some people have to get away from it all while on landing yeah yep past 2 years though i said to my wife who looked at me with vicious anger in her eyes. <laughs> I don't see that in every No. <laughs> Scolding, yeah. Yes, it's like, look, we do not have, we got a dog now, we don't have room for all those servers <laughs> yeah. to bring them to the cottage. Um, no, so um, what, it, what we've tried is uh, you guys recorded an episode for yep. me. Um, so these folks recorded a pre-recorded episode and, and did the show on my behalf, and then I just aired it, so I remote it in and press play yep yeah. um and then last year i believe it was i simply just didn't do a show yep that one week mm -hmm. so i have one week off a year yep and uh and that's it so and th there was the odd time where we would pre-record a show it's very rare Christmas. and Christmas. and people say well why don't you pre-record more shows and then you can have more time off but it's actually more work to pre-record than it is to do it live yeah which is crazy, I not know. Not to mention but the hard drive space. Like, these are not small shows as far as space goes. 60 gigs per... No, it's more than that. 60 gigs for the master... F uh, for, the, for the renders. Uh, but now we're using about almost three quarters of a terabyte per episode. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Which is well, crazy. Well, would dropping to 720 take that down, well, too? Well, the box said... No. Oh. Sorry. Hey, um, just so you know, if you're taking phone calls, you're actually on TV as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. What was that question, Agamotto? Oh, if you were to drop it down to 720, what would that take it down to? Well, our show records at 4K. Yeah. So everything that, that goes out to our recorders is 4K. What you see live is 720, um, okay. but the recording is 4K. The reason for that, Agamotto, is because then in post-production, I can say, oh, Sasha's looking down at her computer right now, and it looks like she's really bored. Oh. Right? Yes. It happens. Yes. So now I can zoom in on Robbie... Or I can zoom in on Jeff and Robbie, or I can zoom in on Sasha and Robbie, and it, it I don't know if you watch the on-demand versus the live, but it makes the show more interesting, and, and it allows me to punch in on that 4K shot, because our broadcast, once it's on-demand, is 2K. So we have, basically, I can punch in uh, to a half of the, the screen size that mm -hmm. the camera provides. So oh, all, okay. yeah. So all of our cameras are 4K, and uh, those allow us to punch in and g basically zoom in on the camera without having to have a camera operator. Yeah, works pretty well, I think, mm -hmm. for on demand. Yeah. So I can't I can't record at 720. Our master recordings have to be huge. They have to be, and then I render down from that. How big is the master recording for a typical uh, show? 600 gigabytes. Mm. Big. Yeah, that's a big. 
That's a very big file. God, and I remember when 600 megs was considered huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> remember when we didn't need 640 kilobytes? When Bill Gates yeah. himself told us I that? I remember those days. Of yes. Yes. Yeah. I remember the first time I uh, replaced the hard drive on my computer. It was a 286, and I, it has a 20 megabyte drive. And I replaced that with a 170 megabyte uh, drive. So wow. I didn't have to yeah. delete one game in order to play another one. Wow. This I is remember my uh, wow. 500 with four floppy drives. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and now you've got. I installed the Windows 95 using 26 floppies. <laughs> and now you've got stuff like this, like a 260 gig data traveler. Yeah. Yeah. In in your yeah. pocket, like in your pocket. In which your is pocket. Insane. Yeah. Brilliant. Yep. And not only that, uh, some of those things can uh, is a um, uh, computer in its own right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about some of those micro SDs I showed you there, Robbie? <laughs> <laughs> Multi terabyte micro SD. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. That's insane. I can't imagine. Like, can you imagine the sector size? Because these are not multi-layer devices, right? Like they're so thin. Yeah. Wow. Oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, folks, we've got a lot to be able to pull together over the next few weeks. Yes. Yep. I love this. I think once we're in Studio E, we're going to do this more. Now, Kickstarter, we currently have um, a tier that will allow for you to participate in four of these Zoom meetings. We can host up to 95 people, and we can just hang out and just, hey, talk just about chat. what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just talk about what's going on. So, yeah. so to speak. So just like you see here, and this is pretty cool, eh, guys? Like, I mean, we've got the technology to make it happen. Seems to work. Yep. Yay. I but like it. As far as... <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to say, as far as Kickstarter is going... Back when you started... <laughs> I'm sorry. This was not possible when you started, um, what, 12 years ago? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Solbu, think about that. So 20 years ago, there was a fif like 15-minute delay on any satellite video. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, so here we are. We have, now I know that, like I see four people. People, well, three people on the right, but then I know Solbu's here as well. I don't know why Solbu doesn't have a thumbnail. I think it only does four. Does it only show so many? Yeah. Maybe there's a button that Robbie. Five. Oh, do you? Yeah. You have to press the blue blue arrow. Blue arrow. Oh, right. look at us! We're so fancy now. So, uh, I mean, we can, but we can host up to ninety-five people here. So, I mean, this is what we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks um we're gonna have four of these and yep. we're gonna do this um and it's gonna be private it's gonna be something that we are gonna release to the public but live if you want to participate you've got to be a part of that on kickstarter at cat5.tv slash kick and you're gonna get to see um some of the stuff that we're looking at bill yes i've been to five units so far since friday and maybe folks at home should know this. So I've actually toured five different possible mm -hmm. studio units. And I think I might have found one. I like that one. Bill, have you seen it? I looked at the video. I like the skylight. Yeah. Hey. What's Bill talking about? We got a skylight. We got a natural. What? Yeah. It's a nice studio. So, folks, hey, get on over to cat5.tv slash kick. I'd love to have you a part of the um, the fundraiser. I really do need you to be a part of that fundraiser. we got to do this. I know we can. Mm -hmm. can, I, I, can I give some good news? Yeah. We're already over 25%. For, 25%. The, for the minimum. Guys. For that minimum. Oh, That's thank awesome. you so much. Ladies. For $5,000, <laughs> you can inflict extreme labor pains on Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's... Tell your wives, folks. <laughs> yeah. my, my wife's excited about that one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 25. Interesting uh, uh, thing. Um, 
um, uh, Louis Rossman uh, just uh, moved to a new store. Um, it, it's not too long ago that uh, uh, people didn't uh, show that uh, transition while it was happening. And now you are doing the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah I sure. remember a comment on uh, the, uh, the last video Louis uh, did from the old store. It was empty and it was, it was just uh, rubbish left that he was. And uh, our commenter said that uh, uh, he couldn't believe that the shop looked uh, smaller with nothing in it than it did with everything in it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Tech has changed everything. I do, I do hope that the new studio will, will, will serve you uh, 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 better than the uh, current studio. It, it will. I have full faith that it will. Absolutely. Studio E is going to be excellent. Yep. We'll also, it will also start uh, season 14. I mean <laughs> <laughs> yes. Forget about season 13. It's over. We're done with this. That's right. Yeah, season 13 is done. Oh, you know, I'm not oh, a superstitious boy. guy, but I'm telling you, 13 has had its challenges. It it's is ridiculous. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's been fun. Wow. It's been fun. Well, yeah, the new stu studio will have both heating and then uh, uh, working air conditioning. That's right. Not, not only will we have heating and air conditioning, but we will not have birds. Yes. We, will, we will not have mice. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All these things are true. <laughs> Fans with good bearings so that we don't hear them. Yeah. Yes. That's right. <laughs> so, yes, along that line. So the laptop has a bad fan, which we discovered two weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, oh. that arrived yesterday. So when that arrived, so that part that I ordered, it was like a little bit of a knife to the heart. Yeah. Because... It was purchased for this space again. Like it was like something to fix the interviews. Yeah. So that there was no sound coming off of this. So we want to find a space for Studio E where the computers can be in a, a little office space and then we can run wires out to the studio space. Mm -hmm. We want to have the studio separate from all the noise so that we no longer have to deal with this. Yep. Like, we may as well. Like, let's take a little bit of an upgrade. We're not getting stupid. We're not getting crazy. We're just like, yeah. we gotta, we gotta move anyways. Let's get a little bit of a better place. Yeah. Right now, we've just got a big room, and so our servers, our computers, our fans, everything is in one spot, and you yep. can hear them on our microphones. We want to fix that. We want to make that a little bit better since we've got to, we've got to do this anyways. So, yeah. you gotta go. I gotta I go. Did, we gotta go. I bought this house, and um, uh, my gateway computer is moved down to the basement. Yeah. I now uh, just need a, a, a second UPS that can be in the basement, and then one of the uh, file servers can be downstairs as well. What a difference yep. it makes, eh? Just get it out of there. Yeah. Yep. It works. All right, folks. Well, that is all the time that we have because i mean sasha's looking at her fitness tracker look not looking at her steps but looking at the time Ooh. and uh, you know what we're we're so thankful to have each and every one of you as part of this show we are a community we're a family in many many ways and uh you know what we need um go to cat5.tv slash kick i hate like can i be honest i hate doing this the yeah. the asking for help um but i cannot do it alone we can't do it alone. We do need our viewers to come together and, and do this. And, and it's not a case of supporting Category 5 like our monthly expenses. It's like a keep it alive. This is like, a okay, we're going to go out of business unless we come into some serious cash very quickly because our landlord has said we need the space back and you have to be out by the end of the month. Yep. I didn't expect this. None of us did. And... and so it's just one of those things that we've got to either deal with and and overcome or fold. And and I we're not folding. That's not an option. Nope. We shall overcome. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, we will. Absolutely. So, can I can I make a faith based statement and say see you next month? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because because be praying for you. That's yeah. it. Like thanks, Albu. There, there's no more shows this week. So you got the Zoom this month. Yeah, Mar this month. March we're closed. Yeah. So as soon as we're done here, right now, Sasha's already packed up her laptop. Um, Only because I gotta go to bed. <laughs> uh, we're taking it apart, folks. We have yeah. to. Yeah. I can't. I can't leave this to the last minute. No. I have to shut down and pack up. 
Yeah. I've got boxes and I'm going to fill them. And yep. so this is it. This is it for March. We will see you in April. I have faith in that. And, uh, and it's it's going to be awesome. It will. Oh yeah, Studio E is going to be awesome. Thanks to you, I promise I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do everything I can to keep this thing afloat, folks. Yep. And you I got to celebrate Sasha and my birthday. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> birthday celebration. I'll take it. I just found the uh, Kickstarter is already um, closing in on 900. I love it. Fantastic. It's amazing. Thank you uh, so much, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Keep it coming this yeah. like over the course of March. I will be active on social media. I'm going to be active in as many places I, as I can be. We need this thing. Uh, we need the momentum to keep going. Keep in mind, we need to blast past the goal. The goal is there as an arbitrary number, which is a low number, so that we meet our goal. Otherwise, yeah. Kickstarter will say, you don't get any of it. Okay, yeah. so. we have to surpass that. Yeah. It's not once we raise that, we're not done. We have to keep going so that we can actually make this happen. Yeah, um, let's make this happen, folks. Th and there's we'll a reason why there's a challenge on there for five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. dear. Look forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So we'll see you on the flip side, everybody, and be active in our social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. I'm on uh, Discord. Everywhere you can find me, say hi. Let me know, you know that what? you're part of this, okay? I don't think I've ever said I am on Twitter, too. Okay. Hold on. I I use it so It's okay. You can just go. You can just go. She's got to go. She's got to work I, uh, at like 4 a.m. Good night, Sasha. It's, it's J. West and Barry. Jay Weston Barry. Okay. Jay Weston Barry. There you go. There you Twitter. go. You can look me up on Twitter. I am Robbie Ferguson. How hard is that? Yeah, there right? was already a Jeff Weston taken up. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, could you leave me your mic pack? Yeah. 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 Don't take it. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Take thank it easy, you, everybody. everybody. Yes. Thank you so much for your support n up to now and moving forward. Um, keep it growing over the next two, three weeks. And wish me well. <laughs> and from Studio D, we're signing off. Yeah, that's it. Sasha, you got to be on camera for the sign-off from Studio D. Bye. See ya. That's it. Studio D's yeah. gone, folks. Oh. Yes. Thank you, everybody. The end of an era. One and way of looking at it is that this could be a blessing in, 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 in disguise. Yes. Yeah. That's what so I'm hoping for. Yeah, I like your attitude, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know okay. what? I at first I was shocked and in shock. Okay, that lasted about a half a day, and then I just started putting my foot to the floor and realized that hey, this needs. I need to do something, and I need to make this happen. Yep. So I worked my butt off to start booking appointments with real estate agents and everything else quick. i had to be so now it's wednesday i've already seen five different units i've got one in mind and uh i'm already working towards signing the lease and we're gonna we're gonna do our best to make it happen yeah um but it's gotta happen and i set up the kickstarter yeah. which i've never done before yeah you got on that quick that was impressive i had to and kickstarter was quick too so yeah Huge thanks. Sasha, anything else you need to take with you since we're closing this down? I don't this know. is it. Okay. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Oh, my slippers. Your slippers. Your slippers. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I can mail them. They're hard to access because there's boxes in front of everything now. Don't knock down the shelves. Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. That whole bin is yours. The one with the pink lid, because I'm... Say, it's about the only thing in here that's pink. <laughs> yes. It's, it's Sasha's. Stereotypes. Mm -hmm. No, it's not gender stereotyping at all. No. She just... But I tried to give it to Jeff, and he looked at me weird, so... <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Uh, all right. You with your pink shirt underneath your sweater. <laughs> and then her pink jacket. Pink jacket. And your you, pink jacket. You like the pink, clearly. See? That's a very cheery color. I'll give you that credit. But yellow is my favorite. Yeah. See, I just, I with the red hair, I can't wear pink. Good night, Sasha. Good night, Bill. <laughs> Bill, I don't know if you can hear her, but she says good night. I heard her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we heard her. <laughs> All right. I'm signing off, too. All right, guys. Good night, Jeff. And me, too, See folks. You. I'm going to put this together, upload it, and everything else, and just start packing. Love you all. Take care.
All Good right, luck. Right. Take it easy. Thank you. I'll, I'll be and there also, to help. Thank you, Bill. Remember to get some sleep, um, even if you have to do a few things uh, during the next few weeks. Yeah. Thanks, Solbu. Yeah, it's going to be a mad few weeks. I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, see you in the month. <laughs> yeah. Take it easy. Right.